the rounds. I will figure that out when I get to my house. What's the name of this episode again? Get the chat in front of me so I can see it. Shadows so. and something? Betray the party. The unmarked uh, one. Yes. Oh, the invisible what? camp activity. Betray the party. Rock small. Everybody <laughs> dies. <laughs> That's funny. Um, night, night falls. <laughs> night falls. Everybody dies instead of rocks. <laughs> if you ever go to sleep, game over. Wait, what? So no camp actions. No camp actions. None. Like ever. Never. I, I mean, okay, it kind of breaks the game. Uh, uh, we'll roll with it, I guess. Don't go to sleep. Well, all I can say is, when I look at this list, my heart in real life longs for the sleep soundly one. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would love to actually sleep soundly <laughs> one night this year at some point in my life. I can't remember the last time I've just slept soundly, right? Man. It, you had an MMO screen, and you looked at me, and you're like, right-click, what the heck are your debuffs? It would be a nightmare. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how you get the special uh, quest event to fight your own nightmares. Then you get, like, a cool yeah. sword and everything. Yeah, you get a rare drop, but only if you have the debuff active. Yeah. Is that a real thing in a game? It probably no. is. It should be. <laughs> There's cool. probably some game out there that has that as a Ow. thing. Well, I mean, I know of one video game in which if you run through a deadly dungeon that you can, you know, you can do once you get high enough level at any time. In Vagrant Story, way back when, if you do it below one... 20th of your maximum health the entire Oops, time fudge. and don't let yourself heal higher than that and get through it you can get a whole new class of drops the entire time at the end of it nice. and it's a crazy card but yeah that's a totally a thing in that game oh right hello everyone i'm ad springer also known as corbinian this is the electric metropolis video game tour and I may have said that already, but it's not, it's okay. It's fine. This is Fabio Ultima, the castle that would pierce the horizon as we follow the tales in the countless realms of our fine heroes deep in the whispering ruin. To begin our poetry of the date, of the week, night, day. Yeah, it's night or day, wherever you are. Um, it's both. No, um, it was, anyway, it was last week. In the, sim in the shimmering twilight, where tales are spun, whispers of heroes beneath the moon's gentle run. Like snowflakes dancing in the cold night air, stories drift and vanish beyond mortal care. In the countless realms where darkness looms, legends rise and fall amid shadowed tombs. Only heroes and lore masters hold the key to remember the tales of bravery and glee. So fret not for tales lost in the passage of time, to cherish each moment in prose and rhyme. For in the depths of ruins beneath soul's tide, adventures are woven where heroes abide. In the depth of the dungeon where shadows entwine, heroes venture forth in this labyrinth of mine. Mirrors reflect a twisted reflection of truth, revealing secrets hidden from the days of youth. Through icy corridor, they press on with might, facing monster and demon in the dim candlelight. Each foe defeated reveals a piece of the tale of the whispering ruin where echoes wail. Paths diverge in this maze of uncertainty, but heroes persevere with unyielding constancy. For in the heart of darkness, they seek to find the truth of themselves in the depths of their mind. Amid swirling mirrors and questions unasked, they journey onward, their spirits unmasked, in the whispering ruin where secrets abound. Heroes, heroes forge their destiny, hallowed ground. And we return to the whispering ruin once more, deep below a darkened place where some people find a bit of rest, even in this place. And thus Man. I ask you for your camp actions. All right, who'd like to go first? Uh, I have a pretty, pretty clear one. 
Um, I am going to do the camp forge activity. Do that. I would you. like to repair. I would like to repair my spear. Uh, sorry, you can't do that. Uh, because I don't like you. Hmm? Uh, actually, wait. I got <laughs> wait. I gotta confirm. I gotta confirm. Um, because <clears throat> I do have my spear and I do have my shield. I don't think I lost my shield. No, I haven't broken your shield. Yet. Uh, Stop that. <laughs> You know, Camp Forge, you are able to repair your spear as you take the knight. Jay. I'm, I'm able to use some of the, the wrappings from some of those undead and mend the, the break. <clears throat> so now I have a cool, like, little wrapping in the middle. Okay, cool. Boom is next. All right, I'll go next then. I'm gonna take the cartography action. Just uh, Zevin lays out lays out some parchment and uses a little bit of charcoal to kind of track where they've been so far in the dungeon. Yeah. Nice. Which will make trouble. Yeah. Try to make, sense, yeah, try to make yes. sense of this labyrinth we find ourselves in. So instead of me rolling d12s, I rolled the eights now. Well, it's easier to travel down here. Yeah, so now next time we make a travel roll, we re we can re-roll the dice and keep the new result. Oh, sorry, it's re-roll. Sorry, I thought it was lower the yep. dice for some reason. You get two rerolls because you dice have ability. one re-roll plus this one. Yeah. He's uh, combining the two for even more powerful features. Very yeah. nice. Who is next? Who would like to be next? You, can you just volunteer yourself. yourself. <laughs> Fair enough. I have two options I'd like to ask the group which one they think I should take. I can either plan, like get together with someone else and do some planning, which is where I would basically choose an ally in the group that I plan with. And that group, you know, when when the when the when that target, that person in the party is the leader on a group check to examine something, they'd get a plus four bonus to the result of that check as we plan our way to deal with encounters within the dungeon. Alternately, I could just daydream. Which would basically mean that the first time, uh, or at any point before the next rest I take, whenever I lose hit points for any particular reason, I could just choose to half that loss. And that would include the loss of hit points I would take for acting if activating Ethereal Worm. Oh! <clears throat> so, you know, either of those are strong options for the group. Anybody have a preference? I'm happy to lay it out. Hmm. I mean, part of me would think that planning with either Lucius or more would be a good idea, but ultimately, up to you. Why don't you flip a coin? Flip a coin? Oh, yeah. no. Uh, well, nobody has an opinion one way or the other? I, I have... Uh, it, it, words of the, the neutral aliens from Futurama. I have no strong feelings one way or the other. <laughs> okay. Who, who usually does our leadership, our, our checks to examine things in our, in our group? Who usually does that? It depends on what's being examined. And it tends yeah. to be a bit... It seems, it seems to follow initiative or what seems most related yeah, to people. So it fluctuates. It, 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 yeah, usually, okay. usually, I will say, usually pinballs between Lucius... Um, seven and more Duncan. Um, okay. Well, if Lucius is willing, I would like to undertake planning with him then. Sure. Wow. So as he's repairing it, you're kind of going over plans okay. and figuring out what's, so, what he yeah, knows. Yeah, you're finishing up your repairing and I will approach you to talk about what I've noticed about the creatures within the dungeon and how we can be better prepared for dealing with our next encounter with things of that nature down here. So we'll get ourselves a group check leadership bonus on one of those next time. And uh, uh, that will be my camp activity. Comparing Wondrous. numbers. I do appreciate one who at least understands the importance of proper tactical preparation. Well, I, 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 I nervously look at my feet and wring my hands and say, well, the truth is I'm actually more concerned that you haven't been um, particularly concerned about them, and I was just going to bring them to your attention. That's all. <laughs> oh. 
We have one for Alexander in the chat. Alexander is performing martial practice martial. camp action. Uh, I was watching away. He's muted at the moment, but he'll be along in a moment. Midnight oil. No, that's not midnight oil. Try again. Read. Reading that was practice. Yeah. Once Marshall. before the next rest, when performing an attack, he may grant that attack multi two or increase the multi property of something he already has by one point. So you can smack two different things in one swing. Nice. By the way, that, that was me role playing my uh, my bond of mistrust with Lucius. Like, I don't trust that you do it without me. That's why I came into the planning. With you. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And more Duncan took up Midnight Oil. Yes. Generating two points of progress for a project. Uh, oh, your uh, yep. project of the... Um, what is your project again? I forget now. Uh, making a reusable magic tent. Right. Oh, yeah. I am at now at four of ten. Cool. So the night goes on. The sun unseen. The whispering walls, gleam of light in every corner, that soft hue. It feels slightly cold, but in your magic tents, you know you're secure, you know you're safe, and you know that when you visit each other, nothing can hurt you. Briefly, Alexander may have to step out of his tent because you don't want to be swinging a tent inside, swing a sword inside a tent. But if you ever felt any danger, he could quickly just step into his magic tent and he's safe from monsters because they can't get into the thing. Uh, but eventually, you find your rest. Oh, um, before I move on, does anyone wish to adjust their bonds? Because you're in a rest. Mm. Yes. I already have a bond of loyalty with seven. Um, I was thinking after the last session, uh, I had a fruitful combat with... Um, where Alexander over there. So I was going to build a bond of trust with him. Very good. Or I guess it would be admiration because I don't see trust as an option. There's loyalty, affection, and admiration. So we'll go with admiration. Uh, you know what? Because I think it's fitting. I'd like, uh, if possible, I'd like to develop a uh, bond of mistrust with um, Aether. <laughs> Seems appropriate. Both eyeing each other this whole time. Yeah, well, because we know next to nothing about who Aether is or where they come from. And they all they seem ready to do is ready to needle me for every little thing, so, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd like to form a little bit of a bond with inferiority with Lucius. Uh, he's got formal education, and it's really coming in handy right now, and not to say I haven't Aww. worked on what I've done, but, no. Uh... It's, start it's starting oh. to bother you. Yeah. Oh, buddy. What you get from being a know-it-all? I mean, sorry, what? <clears throat> <laughs> Any other adjustments of bonds? It's not required to adjust, but this is the time to do it if you're going to do it. We're only allowed to adjust one at a time, correct? Yep. 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 That's what I thought. More Scott. Let's check the chat. Uh, no update for Alexander, but we can. I can see. Uh, um, anything for more? Or are we good? I'm good. Okay. Thus, the magic upon your tents fades. And you're able, uh, as you uh, dress yourselves and get your armor ready and step out into the cool, uh, dark air, uh, barely lit air, uh, you very lightly touch your magic tents and watch them fade into dust and return themselves to the magical uh, weave of the world. Must see down here. I'm getting used to it, but I also don't want to say I'm getting used to it. <laughs> what if 
I do get used to it. I, I think that that works. Alright, where are we going next? Let's see. That is a good question. We have three options here. I will note we to have... each of you, as you're getting ready to go, that some memory is fading, as if many weeks have gone by. You don't forget everything. What you remember is what you remember, but what you've forgotten has been forgotten. No rolls will happen for remembering things. Huh. I don't like that. <clears throat> I don't either. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, well, travel roll it is. Uh, we, uh, where you're trying, you're just exploring the labyrinth a bit more? Yeah. What yeah, direction we are we either, going? Yeah, we can either go there, there, or there, correct? Those two southern points? Three. Ah, uh, three, you're right. Okay, well. What would you say, left, right, or center? I'm good with whatever. I just Boom. kind of feel like I usually like to keep my keep the left always, like always go to the left. That way you can't get lost if you always turn to the left first. Right? I mean, correct? <laughs> More or less? Uh, with your uh, freehand draw tool, a stroke where you're heading. For those of you watching uh, uh, away, uh, this they can't see. Some of this is darkened, uh, so they we can see everything. What's going on? They can't. They are only seeing certain amount. This way. Seven would like to go this direction. Any objections? Not for me. That's where that I was going to go. Good call. Who had that magic torch again? Me. Was that was that more Duncan? No, I have it, Seven. but I. I can hold it. I can hand it off. Did more Duncan like it? I was just trying to remember who had it. If you have it, then I'm hanging near you. <laughs> okay. Thus, this way you go. Travel roll abound. Uh, you walk through the cold and the dark. Well, not so dark. It's. I keep saying the dark. It. It feels dark. And the torch does pierce it, but you notice at your edges that the 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 light purple lights do give that sort of ultraviolet hue to the darkness. And the more the fact that you actually stayed here for at least one full rest, uh, you're starting to acclimate to that light. You're starting to see better in the dark. And even the torch that Seven is walking around with is starting to kind of irritate the eyes a tiny bit. I kind of want to say it's like being in one of those old old-timey stores that had like a black light area where they would hang black curtains mm -hmm. and go into the area where all the black light posters were to look at them that's that kind of darkness right yeah exactly <laughs> exactly oh yeah eat You find a oh, area and a archway that leads into another room with a yet another mirror. Oh, here we go. I remember this now. I do too. Whose turn is it? Who's up next? Well, I looked at a mirror when I got here. Does that count? We don't know. Oh, and I'm sorry, Zevin. That should have been a lower roll, but... I rolled below six, so nothing bad happened. Actually, I'll roll a lower number because I did screw up. Uh, because you could, the chances of you getting a one are higher because of the lower die roll. Uh, the lower dice. I'll check if it's a one. It is not a one. Sorry. Uh -uh. Well, I know I had my verbal encounter with a mirror, so it's got to be somebody else. Oh yeah, I think me. I, I remember this now. I think I was yeah, going to do it. Lucius, you haven't talked to him here yet. Yeah, so yep. far it's been Alexander, Aether, and Zevin, I believe. No, I have, and Aether has. Yeah. I, I mean, I talked to him here and already answered a question, and that's how I got to the dungeon in the first place. I don't know if that counts, though. I 
I just shrug? Yeah, so uh, Lucius is going to approach the mirror. I'll be peeking from around the corner. <laughs> you stride up to the mirror and see yourself as you are now, standing tall, shoulders back, chin up, and a gaze that looks like it doesn't even notice you're there. A very distant look. He kind of tilts his head a little bit. His spear in his hand, uh, undamaged, like uh, unlike yours. The attendants behind him, their heads bowed as if he were nobility and not a man of the Republic. Hmm. Well, what is it you want? Uh, we seek the secrets of this place. Secrets? Why not glory? Why not power? You afraid of these things? No. Uh, so why do you I'm travel with the weak and those who mock you? Oi! Oh, oh, that's rich coming from him. <laughs> <laughs> they know they... not the ways of battle and war. We scavenge and scrape that which we lord over. But... Mm, he just looks around. They can be taught, and... What is the wisdom that I have if not to be shared? Why should I hoard my experience and expertise for myself? Because knowledge is power, and power shared is power lost. I will add, at the They Know Nothing of Battle, Alexander is standing there with his arms folded, just kind of looming. <laughs> well, some of them knew nothing of battle. I mean, we've been through quite a few encounters up till this point, and they have proven themselves capable. And tell me, if you understand, of ancient mysteries reflected in time, hero's journey in mirror's rhyme, changes forever in reflection's quest, discover the heart, reflection's attest. Oh boy. Hang on. This cornerstone of thought and belief of the world about, do you remember the lesson? Or do you forget what your father laid at your feet? Do I remember what my father laid at my feet? Says the Avantis with broken spear. No, no, that was out of character, do I remember. <laughs> oh, does, uh, that, what you just put in the roll 20, is that it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, give me a second. Can the rest of us help from a metagaming standpoint a little bit? You certainly can, because you okay. you hear the mirror, so your characters hear right. what's being said. For sure, but from a metagaming aspect, like I'm not sure he would appreciate hearing anything from Aether, but as a player, I'd like to remind you that so far the answers have always come back to the eight core uh, features of the setting. The, the pillars, yeah. The, oh, the yeah, pillars, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look to the pillars for your answer, I think. Uh, Yeah, hang on, I gotta open my rule book. <laughs> oh. give, give me give me a second I do not have my core rulebook open 
did not know I was going to be needing that. It's not like the pillars are in the handouts or anything. Oh, that's that's much more convenient. Ah, yes, of course. Um, well, I think that among all those assembled here, there is the potential for much discovery and growth. And there are some who are something of a mystery. And he looks back at Aether. But what are not mysteries but things to be solved? Then what mystery are you attempting to solve, Lucius Avantus? The mystery that I am currently attempting to solve is the location of the object of power within the place. A worthy goal for a worthy house. Do you truly wish to know? I do. Hmm. Try whisper it quiet. You may hold it close oh. to your chest. Hmm. And he, he looks around and he gives sort of a smirk back to the rest of the, the group. Well, you do that, that, is the, th that is the way that is the way of the Republic. When you do that, and, and uh, I'm going to mouth to you quietly, I'm closer to him. Don't fall for it. And Lucius leans in for the whisper. He leans forward incredibly close, almost like he's about to bite his ear clear off and he stops as if his face is about to burst through the glass and he just very shy of his ear you I would like to be ready to defend Lucius in case if he is attacked you uh, I'll take that yeah I won't make you do a roll for that, because it's easy. You, this guy, if this guy was going to do something, he gave you a, a lot of room to <laughs> ready yourself. <laughs> a lot of time, I should say. You look for your, the Enigma's embrace in the chamber discordant whisper. in which the whisper lives. That is where and the what. He leans back and stands up. Rather cryptic, but I suppose that all mysteries are reflected in time. That being said, that the answers will be reflected in time. I will take your words. Ah, uh, yes, can I get that as... Yeah, can, can we get that written form? Yeah, can we get that? That, that was a that was a that was a word salad. Something something whispers. Something something the whispers. Something something. The, like something embrace. Yes. Give me. I think willpower is part of the problem. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh wondrous. Um, hang on. 
Can we all participate? Uh, one can lead, the others can follow. Ah, uh, but I was, but I was, uh, I leaned in for a whisper. I don't know if wow. they heard that. He's yelling for us to Aether yeah, can assist, because I'm willing to give Aether's weird form and her, uh, I will, and I'll attest to her planning. Like, she, it's almost like she kind of, you've run into a couple mm. of years where weird stuff happens. Like, just in case the mirror does something weird again, I'm going to, I'm going to hang by a little closer than normal. Uh, will, will, willpower insight. Willpower insight. Very good. Uh, yeah, I'll help and I will also do it. Willpower insight to try to help. Uh, actually, I'll wait for the assists first. Then one assist uh, anyway. <laughs> let me get my uh, assist roll up for you. Yeah, every, uh, everyone's ready to, to jump this thing after the last one trying to beat the tar to seven. <laughs> yeah. She just wanted to give you a hug. I didn't make a ten, so no no help. Sorry. Okie doke. You still get the planning bonus of I plus really, four? I was, actually, I was actually more focused on defending you in case of an attack. You. Yeah. Like, I know you won't know that, but when I snuck up, I wasn't trying to, like, listen in. I was trying to protect you. Okay. There we go. Eleven. Eleven, you say? One second. Not the not the greatest roll I've ever done. Wait, but you it... guys did the planning action at camp. Yeah, so you have plus four, isn't it? It's a plus four, so it becomes a fifteen. Oh. Oh, is it automatically on the first roll? Oh no, I do? no, no! It, that would be with a particular target, so that would be. It was no, you. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yes, that's you. You get a fifteen. It's, yeah. It's definitely <laughs> have to be this one. You can save it. Oh, wait, you choose you're whether you're fired or not. Oh, okay. yeah. yep. oh you only you use choose when to use it. Uh, uh, and I if you want it higher, you can. Uh, I'll just take the 11. You take the 11? Okay. Well, 11's good enough, because uh, open checks are... This is... Uh, there were some extra say. things I said, but I'll simply give you the... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'll give you the the core of it. Because that part, that you extra thing is going to be. By the way, there's a big trap at the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Why speak plainly when you can speak in riddle? <laughs> it never drives people <laughs> oh, mad oh, at oh, all. That's that's no, definitely no, what never. Rebellion believes yes. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Why use few word when many word do? Oh. <laughs> uh, Scroll, scroll, scroll. Kind of in the wrong part of my notes. Oh, that's why. There you go. What do you seek? Uh, the Enigma's Embrace. Where is it? The Chamber of Discordant Whispers. Okay, cool. Okay, so that... Well, I believe we at least have... Uh, it. And as Lucius steps back, does the uh, reflection do anything? The reflection steps back as you do. He just, you know, softly smiles. Well, that is the way of those the Senate of the Republic of Coria Stellum. Hushed whispers and secrets told. Appropriate. When you when you lean back, you you realize that Aether has crept up right up next to you. Straight there. My, yeah! have, have my little my little paws up like I'm ready ready to attack the uh, the mirror image like i'm paying more attention <laughs> to it than to you he, he just immediately like he says those words immediately turns around and just goes ah, ah. oh sorry but how I'm long were you standing image. how long were you standing there uh long enough to make sure it didn't kill you <sighs> appreciated i'll creep back out of the way now since it hasn't attacked it well I believe we at least know the name of the relic which we seek. 
You must search out a place called Chamber of Discordant Whispers. I'm just going to look the name of the relic? No, that would be the Enigma's Embrace. A fitting pl- uh, a fitting name for a relic located in such a maze of riddles and questions. I'd like to lean closer to uh, both more Duncan and uh, and uh, Seven who are standing next to each other there and I'm just going to say have you seen any signs in here that tell us the names of these rooms? I don't, I don't remember seeing any. Do you? Mm-mm. I think this is one of those vibe things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonna pass the vibe it's... check. <laughs> I imagine. Is there I imagine Google? that if it is a chamber of discordant whispers, there would be more discordant whispering. But don't you remember when we first entered this place? We had that scratching at the back of our our consciousness until we got this beautiful magical torch to hold it at bay. That was discordant whispering, wasn't it? I'm I'm sorry. Scratching at the back of the head. At the back of your consciousness, at your at what you could perceive or or imagine. Remember? Like before we had this magic torch to hold it at bay, it was assaulting all of our minds. Remember? I remember. Ah, I think that was before I appeared through the mirror. It does, it does make a good question. Uh, why aren't you affected? Who are you? That pinpoint Alexander. That, that was, they're talking to me. Oh. That is an excellent question, and I do not have an answer. Maybe it has something to do with his Dark Knight status. Yes, that is as plausible an explanation as any. Speaking of Dark Knight status, have I ever heard of the Enigma's Embrace? Uh Uh-huh. Is there a check I can roll for that? I think Insight? I make some games up. Insight's a thing, right? Insight is, yes. yes. Well, now I don't want to roll it, because someone knows something I don't. (laughs) <laughs> but no, insight is part of the problem, yes. That is funny. I think I'll do insight, insight. Good. I mean, sorry, what? Well, like, insight willpower is the same number. I can't do insight might. <laughs> I did my push-ups this morning, so I think better. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think better after after a good workout. I jogged all the way here. <laughs> I missed it. What's the question? What are we asking here? I'm asking if I've ever heard of the Enigma's Embrace, because that sounds Death Knight uh, not Death Knight, Dark Knight Eats. Right. Yeah, it sounds that sounds sufficiently spoopy. Uh-huh. That sounds right up my alley. Okay. Uh any modifiers for me? Plus one, given your Dark Knight status. The church would right. would teach you of such artifacts. The, the, the list of the holy relics that I had to memorize when I was five. Yeah, yeah that one. And there's hundreds right. of the stupid that. Things. There's hundreds of these holy relics, but some are unholy, so you need to know those ones as well. Oh my god. I have that to really memorize is. them verbatim? How am I going to remember them all? You will. Which you one must. kills you immediately, and which one kills you less than immediately? Right. You think upon also, it. That's 14. And the Enigma's Embrace is a classification of five artifacts that were lost within the ruins of the Darklands, uh, hidden away from the world um, for reasons, according to the church, most unholy. Uh, But each of them are powerful artifacts that should one prove worthy uh, a knight and traveler that one can uh, gain uh, immense strength. Such things are uh, can range from a lens of clarity, a quill of shadow, a chronomancer's hourglass, or a harmonic resonator of echoing realms, and indeed an ethereal gauntlet of veiled dominion. These things and more were once held in the trust and care of the Duke of Wacomal, uh, but when his uh, daughter came to power, uh, she hid them into the Darklands. 
Ah, so they so they were holy relics, but an unholy person hit them. Okay. A because the eclipse and syncretism is put up with. They're not called heretics, but they're not part of the true faith. They are astray as far as they're concerned. So it's like they're not unholy, but they're not being held in a dark knight's hands. So we're not happy about it. <laughs> Oh, it's 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 the American Dad thing where he's like squinting at the gauge and it's like right on the edge between two things. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, uh, um, so ahead. there's no the Enigmas embrace. There's just Enigmas embrace. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. If uh, I'll, I'll give, like, a brief rundown of that. It's like, Sophia searching for very holy artifacts, possibly multiple of them. Also, well, we... did the being use the, the word C, or...? Well, we don't know which artifact might be here, but we also know that there are multiple ruins here in the Darklands. It seems to reason from what you have remembered about your childhood training that perhaps all of the artifacts are in the ruins here in the Darklands and we'll find them all one by one so that, long as we persevere that would be preferable hopefully they have not been looted by heretics that I, would can't be imagine, most I can't most imagine bad. very many heretics could have survived this so far but if we're done with this mirror we should probably move on to the next yeah is before this... this one grabs you yeah. Agreed. Does this one is this an opening here? No. Okay. Then we need to go back to one of the other two spots, I guess. Um, following seven. Seven, seven. You're being followed. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now the travel roll then. Where are you going? Uh, how about this way? Okay. So this is a dead seven. end here, and if this okay. one goes somewhere, that one is also a dead end. This way? Yep, that's fine. So, I don't roll a d12, because you have a special ability, I roll a d10. Clank, clank, clank. Helps if I roll it where you can see it. Something bad's about to happen, I rolled a 6. Would you like me to uh -oh. reroll that? Is Lucius coming? You see, the Myrene is here. I got you, Lucius. Don't worry. Nope. Um. Yeah, something bad's going to happen, or we use a reroll now. I think we use a reroll now, gang. What do you, you agree? I uh, yes, yeah. I, I vote that. Yep, I vote I agree. that. <laughs> Thanks for taking that uh, mapping camp action. That was a great idea. You managed to prevent yourself from getting lost as you consult your map, and you're like, wait, left. Then right, then left, straight. Wait, is it the right way? First left or second left? Second left, right, okay. And that's the big hole. Okay, yeah, you remember now. <laughs> I'm, gonna, the, I'm gonna grab her elbow when she's going through all that and say, remember that two wrongs don't make a right, but three lefts do. Um, hey, like, <laughs> I've been reading maps for a while. I, I've got, I got this. I just wanted to use I, that funny I, saying. I'm sorry. It's okay. She's stubborn like that. You notice there's an archway here, and you notice that there is uh, in a passage that way. Let's check out this one to make sure nothing sneaks up behind us. A Griuse attacks you! Wait, wrong game. Uh, uh, a what? You find a mirror. <laughs> and well, it looks like the light's emanating the just from the, uh, uh, almost entirely from the door, but then you see the glowing ultraviolet torches on either side, giving this weird illusion of darkness and light. But the mirror right, is clear as day. Hey, you're hey? gonna look to more. Mm. 
More you're being has at. everyone talked to a mirror now? Are we starting nope. over? Who has not? More hasn't. Ah ha ha ha. Well I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to you more and say, I'll be right by your side to protect you. Seven stands uh, watching it, eyes looking around, one hand on the torch, the other uh, on her pistol. I have a look at it. You will be looked at back, and you see the barest hint of a smile. A smirk. Her hands resting. Pro I, I imagine that you may have a habit as a as an alchemist type who uses her pouch a lot. You may rest your hands near your bag or on your bag if you're expecting to grab something out of it. Um, yeah. Where for you, I imagine it's a lot more... You mean no harm by it. It's just a place to put your hand. It's a good thing to do. Uh, for her, you can, you can see one hand already in the bag. Which, back home on the aisles, is a bit... It's a, it's a bit like half drawing your sword and being ready to use it. But you're not fully drawing it. But she's being somewhat rude to you in a way that only the Isles would really understand. She is silent and staring back at you, her eyes glimmering with the ultraviolet light. Hello. I will say. Advance a little bit closer. Hello. As you get closer and your reflection gets closer, you can see the glint of one of your uh, high damage bottles that will probably do damage to everyone in that room if, the, if she throws it. So wondrous. Are you talking about like a, like a throwable bomb type thing, DM? Something like that. More, more Duncan has done attacks where she throws a flask into the air and it explodes and does stuff. That look to her, okay. it looks like one of those flasks. Gotcha. Well, I would like to sort of lean in from the side, my little ears poking into the reflection just a tiny bit as I'm watching it, and I'm, I'm moving to take some sort of defensive position uh, again, like I did before. As, as Aether does that, more you notice she pops the cork from it, like she's about to throw it. I will push Aether to the side. Be careful. I don't resist. Meep. <laughs> We don't need violence. But violence is your answer, her. isn't it? Not always. She stares at you, hand firm on the bottle. I will take my hand off of my pouch. Her hand drifts away from the pouch. And he knows to stop the bottle stoppers itself unnaturally, so. Neat. And Fun. I will uh. extend my hand. And like I'm offering a hand trick. The, your reflection extends a hand, her smirk widens. Seven's getting really antsy here. <laughs> I'll, I'll shake her hand if needed. Like if... Big same. When I see her reaching out to shake her hand, I'm like totally tense. She reaches out and grabs you uh, about the hand um, and you feel a deathly chill like a person bereft of the soul uh, given to them by the Sea of Souls. You see in those violet eyes a person lost to darkness, left forever to roam, bereft of ambition, of hope, of heroism you can see and feel in that hand she is afraid I crumble with time fortress of old 
where deities' names in whispers are told. Vast plains and forests, peaks frozen and grand. What am I, shaping the world as I stand? And you can actually see that your own reflection seems to be gazing off into things that she likely will never see again. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> number one. I would say probably number one. That's pretty much where my mind goes to is the first of the eight pillars. Agreed. Uh... Does more look like she's being harmed by this handshake hold thing? I doubt it. Um, I'm just checking. No damage is occurring to her at the moment, but there, she is sensing something off the creature. Okay. Off the reflection. I'm not sure how more Duncan feels about the what she feels and hears in the in her reflection. I can only tell you the reflection smirks and claps clasps her hand. Somewhat creeped out, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I do agree. It's the work, the first pillar. Uh, so I guess I will. I guess I'll answer ancient ruins and harsh lands. Oh, how I wish it were so. Uh oh. But that is, I suppose, what I am in a certain way. So. Island daughter, Tyrgen, Sid, what trade do you seek for you? Do not travel such ancient ruin and harsh land without a gain to find. I seek I seek um Trying to think of how to phrase the thing that we're looking for. 
the Enigma's uh, embrace. Or the Chamber of Discord and Whispers. But I'm yeah, either one of those will get us closer, hopefully. Yeah. Um, I seek information on the Chamber of Discordant Whispers um, and the Enigma's Embrace. I was going to say, too, like it just came to my mind, you might want to even go a little off book because we've already learned that. Maybe you can instead ask for information about the next ruin that we're going to need to visit. Like maybe get ahead of that since we've already well, learned about this dungeon. Well, we know what we're looking for. We don't know where it is or what challenge Other than the chamber is. that we don't know. No, we know the name of the chamber. That's true. So you're yeah. asking more like the direction. Okay. Your mind seems clouded. What was it you were seeking? To trade? Information on the Enigma's embrace and the Chamber of Discordant Whispers. Oops, I keep I figured out why we get black screens again. All right. All right. The Enigma's Embrace is a sacred place where the conduit to the sea is formed. And there within, the Whispering Enigma to test worthiness, to manifest by wit by riddle, test of resolve, or martial prowess, if one insists. Should you see Wait, through the so... Enigma, then the Enigma's embrace you will hold, but fail. And the price will be far higher than a handshake and a smile. The chamber is what it rests within. And to that, well, it is all a discording, disorienting cacophony, a conflicting whisper. But in that ancient chamber, the ancient spirit will look upon you and demand of you answers. And you must have them. So... We're in the Enigma's first, I will say with a smile. Mm. You were within the labyrinth of reflections. You I believe you have seen a doorway to the chamber. Interesting. Thank you. She gives you your hand a firm shake, and there's the barest hint of hope, even in that despairing eye. And then your reflection just rests her hand back on her bag. Instead of reaching into it, she just kind of leans onto it. And I will step back. Your reflection steps back as well. Interesting. We've apparently already seen the entrance. Was there any archways or doorways that seemed to go nowhere? His eyes back the way he went. Or the one you stepped out of. There, that was one of these mirrors. But did. Judging from my map, there's one place we haven't been yet. 
Yeah, but the reflection says that we have already seen it, so it would be somewhere we have them. Oh, it could be. Uh, more, you hurt? I grabbed you. I, I got scared. I'm fine. You sure? <laughs> yes. It okay. could be that maybe we need to find all the mirrors before we can activate the doorway. Oh, maybe we've nice. seen it, but we haven't recognized it. That seems likely. Agreed. Once more into the fray? Sure. Yes. Does that mean over here now? Okay. Guessing so. One more travel travel roll for the, for the heck of it? Nah. For the halibut. Right, an encounter's time. Yay! Yay! Yay, my favorite. Don't worry. Wait, what? I already know what's down that way. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. no. I don't know if y'all saw the uh, the uh, quote that I left in the uh, Discord, but after Corbinian's last pronouncement, I, uh, mm-hmm. I had an epiphany to what Corby's typical answer to the mere questions from us are. In other words, he's always answering us with another riddle. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, like the Sphinx did in the Mystery movie. Alright. You see yeah, something sitting upon three. the floor. A twinkling thing, gleaming faintly of magic. Sniff in its general direction. Ooh, it shiny. smells clean over there and crisp and cool. Mind you, most of the air in this place is clean, crisp, and cool, so that didn't really help you very much. I'll peer from around the corner, only my eyes and ears are showing. <laughs> Zevin, you spy upon the ground a pendant. A pendant amethyst. Or an amethyst pendant, one might say. I'm gonna reach out and uh, draw my dagger and kind of poke at it with with the handle. The chain shifts to your uh, jostling. Oh, it'd leave perfectly good jewelry behind. That's weird. I'm gonna pick it up. Hey, uh, Corby, any myths of amethyst trinkets? Willpower's part of, uh... oh, sorry, insight's part of the problem. Yep, yep, okay. Uh, we're gonna do... Insight, willpower, because it's identifying and remembering. Uh, any modifiers? Plus one. Sweet. Any, any chance I would have heard anything about this? Certainly yeah. assist. From the trees? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was thinking I could have heard something. I'm gonna re-roll that. How are you re-rolling that? Uh, with my identity of devout follower of the great church. I would say so. And to answer back to you, Aether, uh, in this case, I, uh, since you're all working on the same question, one leads, others assist. So Of course. Yeah. Well, I'll do uh, an inside inside on my assist. Certainly. And I that is a successful assist, assist, so you get a plus one. That was Great, so 17. I heard other voices there, sorry. Yeah. Others may assist, because you I... all see the you all see the thing. It's not it's not hard to see it and take a guess at what it might be. I am apparently uh, unsuccessful. I'll throw inside inside at it. Don't throw things at it. Well, we are, they are dice. That You do throw dice. <laughs> you drop them down a dice tower. Hey! Is it? Oh, wait, I don't no, that's... a dice tower, heathen. <laughs> I do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah. I do not help. <laughs> so one in that's two... That's okay. Aether was helpful. 17, 18, plus one is 19. Looks like seven also helped. Yeah, very nice. 19 on an open is more than enough way more than enough to recognize 
Uh, this is, in fact, a rare amethyst pendant. It is an accessory that gives one a certain level of protection against the powers of darkness. You gain The one wearing it gains resistance to dark damage. Oh! Oh! oh. Well, that is a very lucky find. Truly, it's a spirit that's smiling upon us. Not something useful for anybody in the party, really. Hmm. How about more? Made the lowest hit uh, point for this by far. Having I was resistance. Gonna say. Although, does more already have resistance to dark? I forget. I know they have resistance to something. I am double checking because it's been a bit. I'm thinking it might be even better to put it on somebody who will regularly protect and cover more. Like someone who's already tough could be tougher. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who that could be. <laughs> Plus it would go mm. with their their ensemble so well already. Yep. You could make it like a cloak clasp. Ooh. Wouldn't that be purdy? <laughs> I think Alexander and Moore should decide it between each other. Fair Seven enough. is too busy. Look at this thing. It was magic. Oh man, we worked a lot. Well, it won't be worth a lot if we die in here. We are not selling the holy artifacts. <laughs> I'm honestly good if uh, if Alexander takes it. Okay. Sounds good to me. I'm just gonna hold it out by the chain and say, you know, it matches your armor and stuff. Just so you, you know, for the record, I wouldn't have sold it. Even if it would have Probably. gone for 700 in it or more. <coughs> mm. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take it out of her hands before she has second thoughts. <laughs> 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 and he'll, uh, he'll pull off his helmet and then slip a chain around his neck and drop the the actual amethyst bit down inside of his armor. Let me ask, what truly does Alexander look like? This is probably the first time they've seen you without the helmet. Oh! Well, we have camp, yeah. had camp activities before. He never said he took the helmet off. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Honestly, the only time I take the helmet off is, like, in my tent, which is also where I eat. So, uh, yeah. Well, we've eaten um, Alexander together. Uh, Alexander ahead. is a um, uh, he's a dark elf oh. oh and that's why you none of you have seen it before because that would have been notable <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did we did all eat at a table together at least once at that banquet but it's fine if we didn't just, notice that he just, he just lifted up the bottom section of his helmet yeah. oh I see yeah, there's, there's like, a little, there's a little bit there. yeah wow okay yeah huh uh, that's so pale, pale white know. hair, really dark skin, pointy ears. I guess it and... would be odd that my character doesn't really respond because I don't understand the significance of it. Yeah, the rest. <laughs> yeah. the rest of you the would note that would. dark elves are, well, as the name suggests, they are usually associated with the powers of darkness, and all the uh, presuppositions and stereotypes therein. People sometimes fear dark elves because they think every dark elf. Every Dark Elf tends to be a little more attuned to darkness, but that doesn't mean they're all evil. I mean, anyone who has fire magic attunement can be uh, can burn a house down or warm people freezing right. in the cold. But, you know... Right. Remember, every fire mage has the potential to be a pyromaniac. Yeah. Shun them all. <laughs> um, and the name Alexander Eckhart is not very elfin, it, it is very uh, Holy Empire name. Um, sure. So maybe there's more Dark Elves. I will tell you, you have not seen Dark Elves before now. Like, you may have heard of them, uh, at least in a duchy or here in the Darklands. So this is... But I do not know if you have count, crossed their path, what their history is in the Republic, the Isles, or indeed uh, the Sultanate. So you tell me what you three know of such creatures. So what the Countless Realms believes is one thing, but you know what your places believe. Mm. Aether's answer is easy. It's like Schultz in Hogan's Heroes. I know nothing! Yeah. 
Look, another creature from the Darklands, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's dark color. <laughs> Does it make it grape flavor or chocolate flavored? Your... Anyway. Yeah, I'll lean in as you I'm, settle on the necklace and say, I'm, it I'm, matches your eyes. I'm sure that there have been a few that have come through uh, the Republic of Coriostellum, you know, as a port city, do get all kinds. Uh, they're probably fairly uncommon to go through Coriostellum. Um, but, I don't know. that They probably don't have too bad of a reputation because I imagine that any dark elves that would come to Coriostellum presumably wouldn't have much of a disposition towards magic anyway. Hydration. Mm. I just have really cup actually. I think Seven's heard about them, like researched them in a couple books. She, you know, definitely didn't steal. <clears throat> Not the sort but, of people you see uh, in the Sultanate much, or? Not anymore. Maybe they used to live out in the rocky western lands. But, you know, they moved out a couple centuries ago with what with the whole expansionism thing. Yeah. What of the Isles of Tergen Sith? Um. They're very evil looking and they live in this dark this place called the Underdark. I will I yeah, will no. note it does not help that his eyes are like dark purple. <laughs> Which is weird because when he's wearing the helmet they flare orange, but yeah. like <laughs> Magic. Uh, pretty spooky. Uh huh. But no, what are you actually not saying, good. Duncan? I, I talked over you there. <laughs> uh Probably there are occasional tales of them, but nothing major. Just they're not native to our land, so. And I've seen lots of strange things in my travels since I left home. There's a funny person. So, you know, Dark Elf is not the weirdest thing. And those are the faces of... So you, the faces you meet with as you take off your helm, Alexander, are faces of... No one seems terribly alarmed by you. Um, curious, perhaps. Um, but no one seems scared of you or frightened or shying away from you. Seems like their lands don't have a very negative opinion of Dark Elves. Oh, well, that's a nice change. <laughs> <laughs> don't take my children. I have nothing to do with your children. <laughs> What's wrong with my children? N nothing. What? What? No. I th <laughs> nothing. I just don't have a desire to kidnap. Them. What's wrong with my child? I, I just give up now. <laughs> <laughs> so, like. Can I. Huh. Yeah, it's a good question. Maybe Sand Elves and, and Dark Elves were related at some point. Well, Are you like they're all elves, right? I mean, you're like, are we like cousins, sort of? Kind of? I mean, I have cousins, of course, back home. That is an excellent question. Unfortunately, I'm not well versed in my people's law. I was raised in a convent. They so focused mm. more on the things of the church and the empires and the individual members of it. So we're just gonna reach up and like kind of put our hands on his face, you know, like smush his face a little bit. His skin is very cold. Yeah, I, mean, I guess that would happen if you're wearing metal armor all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you felt what you're hoping to feel? Hmm. Yeah. You got good teeth. That's nice. Thank you? <laughs> Anything, and he's gonna put his helmet back on. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are, we are looking for the last beer? 
Right, yeah, right, right, mirror. You check your map, you you recall, and actually, suddenly, once the pendant is found, you're able to fill out more of the map as you suddenly remember the passage, the, the great stairwell passageways and the way you came in, as well as the labyrinth you have walked through. Oh, yeah, the way I came in, the, the way they came in, a.k.a. the thing that I didn't do. <laughs> huh. Oh, hey, wait a sec, there's a thing up there. It's like all the, the shifting and the wandering they've been doing over the past few days and just kind of like, oh, and then there's that, that, you know, Eureka moment. Is, is it literally that one right there at the foot of the stairs? That, those, that's, those are lamps. Oh, those are lamps, okay. The lamps have push. give away darkness and then suddenly there's light. So it's a weird ultra, darkness and ultraviolet effect going on. Oh, okay. I, I think the exit's this way. I, I, I was I had a question for uh, Corby. Mm -hmm. I'm clicking on a spot on the map. Is that darkened area of the wall have any significance? Oh, sorry, that's on me. Oh. Be revealed. Does this darkened area of the wall have significance or no? No. Where? No, just, just okay. Oh. So there's we we run into five mirrors, but we still haven't located a way through to what we're looking for. Unless not, well, it's, it sounds like. May house. The freaky. Is there anything in this alcove? We passed right by it and didn't see anything. You see another of those ultraviolet torches. Ah. I think it's uh, back where it all began. Okay. Do you think there may be a passage we ran past on the way in? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's check it out. Lead the way. What needs to face? Tackle roll needed or no? So you're going up the stairwell? Yeah. Put yourselves all up there. Oh, so that's how you got down here. <laughs> yeah, it closed behind us. I think. Time for a we travel roll. Lives. Oh boy. Oop, because th as you ascend the stairs. You begin to heat, you start to walk away from the ultraviolet lights, um, and you can begin to hear echoing whispers uh, drifting from above. That's what I remembered before. And you ascend up the staircase, unassaulted. Uh, a, 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 it, it, this I will note that be, the reason why this there's little gaps here is indicate that there it's a long walk and then you're suddenly on a landing and then it's a long walk to get to. It's not one. like a teleport, right? Yeah, yeah. It's lots of stairs. Why are there so many? Oh, thank God it stops. I remember searching this alcove and not finding anything before. You see the mists, the flickering runes in the air. Whispers on whispers on whispers on whispers, pushed back by the light at the hand of Zevin Demerol. And the moonlight of the outside beyond the mist, across the swamps and marsh and wetland. We're almost out. This can't be the way. Yeah, but there are whispers here. Whispers. That's true. And it's somewhere we've been before. Well, we need to all put our minds to figuring out what these runes actually mean then. Because I tried before and couldn't, couldn't do it on my own. Maybe if we all work together. Uh, do I recognize the runes? Willpower is part of it. Yep, okay. I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying again, so... Willpower, willpower, because this is just straight up remembering. Yeah. Uh, do I get the plus one modifier? Uh, who's, it depends on who's leading and who's assisting. Uh, I can lead. Since this you can is lead. Dark church stuff. Can he lead, though? <laughs> oh, also, Cory. Take, take, take my moment. Or not my moment. Take, take my, my point. Wrong, yeah. wrong system. <laughs> <laughs> I try to help as best um, as I'm able. Very good. All right. It's a memory roll. I too shall assist. 
willpower is part of it, and it is in fact good Eckert. Two plus two. Ooh. For these are runes of entropy. Mm. Well, He's got a nineteen there. Why did he roll a D ten? What? Uh, willpower. Oh, okay, I was looking at the wrong person. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, please, too long to go through. Plus and that's a plus one. Hooray! Two so far. Plus two, the total actually, because of... Well, plus two, plus the two you have, so plus four total. Your yep. roll. What did we end up with? Uh, a variable of X, because he hasn't rolled yet. <laughs> Have you rolled before? I, I see a, I see a roll there. Oh, it is Scott J. Sorry, I was looking for Alexander. My brain was skipping entirely. Sorry. I'm awake, yeah. everybody. I'm awake. That's eleven. That'd be eleven then. Plus, before any bonus you apply. Yeah, you can set it so that it'll have your character name instead of your player name. Yeah, I need to edit that. I keep doing that wrong too. I fixed mine now. Just look at the bottom of. Right well, nine of the plus four is thirteen. Plus two from the two successes. Plus two because he—it's an entropy uh, thing. What? Why am I being pink? Oh, that's why. I know what that is. Hopefully, that's it. Oh. Never enough. Um, you look upon these runes, uh, and it seems that this place and this gate is ensorcelled through an entropy ritual of some kind, um, meant to cloud the mind and the spirit, um, which will kind of push away most your average wanderer and uh, creature, uh, so you need to be of strong mind. Another way to put it, you need to be a hero of some kind to be actually be able to go to places like that, to get through the mist. Um, mm -hmm. And that is, the, those runes are the thickest of it, and it kind of, it's almost like a, an entropic cork holding in uh, what dwells within this uh, deep uh, place. Um, you also catch a couple of the words identifying what this place is. Um... Astral Observatory. Hmm. Because you have to name what you're protecting, so it's like what. So eventually, you look around. Once you once you realize it's a ritual to protect something, you're like, oh, well, there must be a name somewhere, and you look around for it. And there it is. Also, if you weren't, if you don't concentrate well enough, like if you roll too low, uh, everyone who was thinking about it was going to take damage. Oh. Because it's meant to, it's meant to discourage people who don't know entropy magic. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happened Wait. to me before. Is that why I don't get affected? Is because I'm an entropist? I'm just gonna drink my drink, don't mind me. Whispers. <laughs> uh, 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 uh -huh. well, what does it say? Whispers, whispers. Is this, this is a tropic. Well, it's the majority of it's ciphers, rooms for setting the terms. Mm -hmm. Said defenses. This is a, a a spell of discouragement. It makes it so that if people think about it too hard, it discourages them painfully. <laughs> and Pain also unsettles you, which uh, explains the vistas. I I noticed that before yesterday. I noticed it very painfully. Ah, good. The magic is so strong. I mean, ah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not good that it hurts you, but good that this place is still protected. That means the artifact is likely still here. Uh, also, this spell is protecting something called the Astral Observatory? I wonder if I've heard of that. I'll have to uh, ponder. <laughs> Insight part of it. I'm also wondering if I've heard of that, but I will let you roll first on this one. I'm going to be all like, what's an observatory? <laughs> yeah. I will spend a trade point. Oh! For a plus two. Oh, there you go. I wonder if I've heard of it. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Little green text appears above more Duncan's head. Ding! I've heard of it. Um. 
Or not. But people could assist you. Maybe you'll, uh, you know, you'll get to a better number. I'll certainly try. What can I roll to assist with? Insight's part of it. Okay, I'll do double insight. Okay, hey, hey, plus one. Oh, sorry, plus three total now, yeah? Uh, do I get... Oh, wait, no, I don't get a modifier. This is just this roll. Hey! That's a bunch of, bunch of help. Three, four, five... That's a ten so far. Uh, no, that's my roll with the plus two. Oh, you added the plus two in. Two, five, six, yeah. seven, eight. So far. Maybe you could climb a re-roll somehow? Oh, uh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, you have a fabulous point. And I still oh, haven't, yeah. I haven't, I haven't rolled. Uh, this is insight. Insight is part of That's the problem. Part of it. Okay, insight, insight. I do not help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll spend fabula to reroll. To what trait? Uh... That I'm a... Turnian merchant, and I could have come across a story of this in my travels. I'll steal that from you. Okay. Uh, and I forget because it's been a few weeks. Can I reroll both, or is it just yeah. one? You can re-roll uh, both if you want. Both or I just will, one? I will re-roll both, because both they were well under half. You almost fumbled that, which would, if you fumbled, you wouldn't have been able to re-roll it. <laughs> you were one away. <laughs> so, that would have sucked. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Total modifier plus five. Oh yeah, now we're good. So that's with all the that's bonuses? Better. Yes. Twelve. We'll tell you. Still a pretty bad roll, but hey, we succeeded. Um. The Astral Observatory, according to legend, was a place upon which an entropist and spiritualist examined the movement of the stars in order to understand the sea of spirits resting upon distant worlds. Um, but such mysteries were lost upon uh, them, and in their work, they together uh, formed a lens of clarity. More to the legend you don't know, it was because it starts getting into the particulars of entropy, magic, and ritual, which are a bit beyond you. But you remember the mm. basics of the legend, because you, you would have ran into it a couple times. So... I'll ret retell what I know of the legend and then look over at um, uh, Alexander and ask, uh, does any of that ring a bell for you? Uh, how much of that rings a bell, Corby? Um, she knows more of the legend than you do. Because the, the, it sounds like when she when she counts legend, it definitely sounds like something that locals know and people like people of the dark who live in the Darklands or near it, like the people in the duchy. Uh, but mm -hmm. all the way out in the Empire, no, they know legends ancient, but the tale she's telling is a lot more recent within the last uh, little while, within the last couple generations. Well, okay, I'd, like to, I'd like to I'd like to like raise sorry, I'd like to raise one hand and one ear with it, sort of at the same time that match each other. And say, well, if an observatory is a place where you examine the stars, then wouldn't the place that we're looking for not go downstairs, but upstairs somewhere to a room that would you'd be able to look at the stars from? You wouldn't think so. Uh, we should look for a way up instead of down. And uh, I'm going to start uh, searching the walls. Allow me to try something. Um... Corby, I'm assuming that since I'm able to do entropy rituals, I can unlock this. One second. Um, Ether, 
you can you're looking around for secret passageways. Uh, insight's part yeah. of the problem. I will do a double insight as I'm searching for a secret entrance upwards. That's fine. There has to be a way up if such a thing exists. Wait. Uh, hopefully I did that right. A 14. And it's a critical. 14, you say? To shreds, you say. Um, I was gonna say to shreds, you say. To shreds, you say. Well, thankfully, you did succeed, so you do have an opportunity. Uh, as you search this area, um, you are secure in the knowledge there is no secret passageways uh, leading upward from here. And you even do a couple, like, half-remembered chants to kind of, like, keywords you remember in visions or in stories you may have overheard but uh yeah no if there's anything secret here uh no you're you're very certain you think about it again no 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 you f you feel it you don't feel breezes you don't feel you right. don't see any seams or anything like that and it doesn't right. look like the the mist is going into anywhere but you still get an opportunity because you confirmed that there isn't a secure uh, a secret uh, passage not secret in this area tunnel. anyway I'll say I'll say this area as in I'll include all of this, and out is just this is just the marshland. So you you know this is the only way down in here. But in here you're like there's yeah no there's nothing in here. beyond okay. the doorway out and the stairway down. Um. I think for my opportunity. Mm -hmm. Um, I would like to, um, erase two sections on one of the clocks out in the main world, Ooh. which will decide yep. between the two of us after we're out of the dungeon, whichever would be most appropriate for crises being reverted somewhat due to our actions here today. Oh, the secret doom clock. Uh, yeah, it does take a bit. To... Actually, I can, I can... Well, no, it takes well, you all a little back bit. up to two sections, right? Like, I don't know what all clocks I have that I can, like, look at from here, but I feel like we probably have some that we, we, we've advanced that we need to turn back some to give ourselves more time. Uh, I'll tell you that there is no Glock in the dungeon you're in currently. Um, right, right, right. But there are the big, the, the world clocks, and they should pop up here in a second on the main map. Yeah. And I'm I will say, do, your, your, your heroes and will is allows you to affect any of the clocks um right. i'll note just to for clarity because it's the first time someone's done this uh this little green clock here is usually your local clock so if you get kicked out of a dungeon and you have to flee that usually ticks up that something's happening from the place you fleed and it's gonna get getting worse so that that clock is very local each of the okay. red clocks are the low whatever the big big danger is in the area and the big blue clock is the world crisis which you don't know what that you all don't know what that is. Yet. I just know it's bad. Right. You just know it's all bad, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, it says here that uh, I pick one clock and erase up to two sections on it. Uh, I can't split those up, so I would just put both of them towards the red one for now and lower it by two so that we're under less immediate pressure. So, the spiritual duchy red one? Uh, that sounds good to me, yeah. I mean, unless... The, uh, I'm going to let you guys, like, weigh in on this, though. If you think it's more important to hit the big one, I'm, I'm fine with that. What do y'all think? Uh, Any thoughts? I'm I'm good with whatever. Okay, I'll do the red the red clock for now. Because I feel yeah. like um, successfully finishing tick, off whatever tick. we're doing in here will probably lower the pressure on the spiritual the spiritual duchy of Welcome All. Yeah, so as you're searching around, you, ha you there is that moment in your mind where you realize that even though you've been down here a while, you're, it's almost, you, you, you may not truly understand the why of it, but you understand that it is, in fact, that you are on the path of a, um, well, you're mirroring the path of a spiritualist. You're doing what a hero long ago once did to save the duchy. 
Um, okay, well, I'm going to pass that along to everyone afterwards. I'm going to just go ahead and look around everything and say, well, there's definitely no way up from here. And I'm pretty sure we're doing what we're supposed to do. Like we're, I'm, we're stumbling our way through, but we're doing it right. So everybody knows. Now for the ritual. <laughs> I mean, sorry. <clears throat> um, so, first off, ritualist, what are you trying to do? Uh, well, you said that this spell is a guard to, like, prevent entrance to whatever it's guarding, right? Yeah. Did I understand that correctly? That'd be a safe summary. Okay, I would like to deactivate the spell, then. So we can gain entrance. Uh, and okay. also, so my friends don't, you know, take psychic damage by existing. <laughs> okay, so that tells me that. That's what you want to do. I think you can accomplish that with entropy, because it's an entropy spell that I put in it. So I know the area it's affecting. How potent is it? Uh, you are... Uh, doing... <laughs> it's pretty expensive, but that's true. Um... And ritual cast a normal spell for a spell, but always requires a magic check, which makes me to see difficulty level based on ritual potency. Check relies on attributes indicated by discipline. So rather than me, so in this case, I don't say there's no one, your half, my half. Entropy is insight willpower. So this, this yep. is an insight will, uh, willpower roll. As you begin yep. gathering up, you gathering up the energy in you and feeling out how much power you need. It occurs to you that this is this will require forty mind points and a difficulty level of thirteen. Oh, pricey. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm burst in rituals, not these types, however. But yeah. does that mean I can aid in the ritual somehow? Um, people can aid, but you would never be able to do it. You can aid in a trip, but you you wouldn't be right. able to lead it. Yeah. Yep. Well, I have ritual okay. chimerism, so. Yeah. Any modifiers for me? Um. I'll give plus one here. I will say, anyone assisting, it has to be insight willpower due to how due to this being an entropy ritual. Just be warned if a if a fumble happens, whatever bad thing is happening to Alexander will happen to any ritualist that's helping. Okay. <sighs> I'll try to assist. So, da, 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 da. chanting, 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 humana, chanting, humana, chanting, humana, humana, humana. Uh, can I spend a fabula point to re-roll that d10? Uh, to what trait? Uh, to the trait of uh, my ambition. Uncovering whatever secrets lie in here will certainly help make a name for myself. I'll take that. Give me that. I shall let it go. Let it go. And re-rolling no. my willpower. No, we are not to. Oh You're no! You're not, do oh, You're not no. doing this now. You're no. Stop it. Da, 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 so, well, congratulations. I'm still not higher. helpful. Oh well. <laughs> it's okay. I appreciate Aether you. somehow is helpful. All right. Here I we would go. like to say she's helpful almost completely by accident. Like she just happens to like be in the right place at the right time several times over Love the course that. of the okay. ritual. Like you, you start <laughs> right. waving away some of the runes that go near him. It's like I don't know if that's bad. I think that's bad. Uh, go away from him. And you're right. It actually is. They're trying to distract him. Right. Sounds good. All but right. I helped by accident. Pushing the big red button. Oh boy. You, you got a plus one from me. Uh huh. So that's twelve that's, that's of thirteen. 12 of thirteen. Because I added the bonus one in my roll. And I don't have a fabulous point. Uh, I think wait, 
Haha, <laughs> except guess what? If you do you need a fabula point? I do actually, yes. Okay. Uh in which case um <laughs> my trust in you. Um you, you can uh I spend a fabula point of my own and invoke one of uh uh, one of your traits or bonds in order to let you re-roll the dice. You cool. Basically, we, you get to spend. We are... Go ahead. Yep. Uh, and then, because I have a bond with you, uh, you regain 10 mind points. Oh, nice! <laughs> Will that happen after I spend these 40? Uh, I'll do that, yeah. I'll be I'll be nice about it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Because you see it or fail, the 40 is getting spent anyway, so... Heck yeah, that's a 13 before the modifier. Let's go. Sorry, 15. Seven plus eight. Was that like a class ability that you just did, or can anybody do uh, that? Uh, th uh, that's, it's, a, it's, it's an orator thing. That, that's, what I was, that's what I thought. Just checking. Yep. You chant and you chant. Your voice gets deeper and louder and begins to echo and begins to fill everyone's mind with whispers upon whispers upon whispers upon whispers. And then it's his voice begins to creep up in volume as he's talking aloud the magical words of entropy the language of the stars and the space between and all the mysteries they hide but none shall be mystery to him or those that come across this threshold also at one point it sounds like he's speaking backward don't worry about it it's fine <laughs> I left a cool gif of the uh, visual of the Astral Observatory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to drop my mind. To 41. Uh, okay, so I... Oh, although, wait, we, we all got a full night's sleep, didn't we? Yeah, you were full uh, up first. Yeah. Yeah, if you any I HP forgot. or MP you lost uh, from before would be regained by now. I forgot to... So I that. lost cool. 40 and gained 10, so I'm at 22. Right. Oh no, it's this one. No, 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 no. That one. Um. So yeah, uh, the runes um form into common lettering that you all understand, and then um for a brief second, and then they are replaced by the words. Alexander begins immediately rewriting them as he as he sees them, and then as you're saying the, them backwards, undoing the spell, and then the little motes of light stay there. Because I imagine that character, you want to make sure people, you're not turning off all the light, you're just turning off the block. Um, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, uh, this passageway loses all its weight and heaviness. The whispers end. And there's but the wind outside and the damp cold below. There's no danger passing through these archways. Great, what did we just do? Obviously that took us like an hour, right? Or two? It takes you an amount of time, yeah. Well, you're allowed to think about the magic now without being discouraged, so it's just that. Okay, so we're we're in the location where the artifact should be now, right? Like, aren't we in the chamber of discordant whispers? Uh, you notice no? that the echoing whispers have gone away. The enigmas, the enigmas and Price should be here somewhere. Well, remember, this is the Astral Lab. This is the Astral Observatory. But within the Astral Observatory is a chamber of discordant whispers that we're hunting for, right? Uh, no idea. A, I don't think the room said anything about the chamber of discordant whispers. <laughs> Corby, did the, did the rune say anything about the Chamber of Discord Whispers? <laughs> no, the mirror did Not at all. When it was... Huh? Not at all. The mirror told it to uh, Alexander earlier. No, I'm sorry. That was uh, Lucius at the time. Remember when Lucius questioned his, his reflection in the mirror? He told him that uh, 
what he sought what he, the mirror asked him what it is he seeks and Lucius told him the enigmas embraced where is it and the cha and the answer from his image in the mirror was the chamber of discord whispers remember remember yeah well if this was the chamber of discord whispers then somewhere around here needs to be the enigmas embrace right yeah but we don't know if this was the, the chamber of discord whispers well, i think we had pretty strong evidence that it was Anybody have any other ideas of where that could be? Hmm. Now that the spell is removed, I'm going to step back into the other room a little bit. Just to see what's back here again, if anything's changed. You see lights and peaceful silence. Hmm. If the danger is gone from this room, I'd like to search it. You search this, uh, you uh, are reaffirmed there are no secret passages in this area. Yeah, I, I find nothing new. Okay. Take what a look outside the door. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I'm just curious if we go back down into the labyrinth, if anything has changed now that we've removed the spell. It'd be dangerous, but I'm willing to go with you if we really want to find out. I'm going to walk up to Lucius and I'm going to like kind of like march right up to him and stand just slightly above his waist height except for my ears which are a little <laughs> a little higher and I'm going to look up at him and I'm going to say you you wish to lead us and you wish to prove yourself as a leader tell us what should we do next prove yourself I'm ready to hear it mind yourself you darkling says says Vernius uh as, he, as Umbernia says, as he starts stepping into the way. Okay, so... What's Practically the... ignoring him. Yep. I, I guess the, the question is, what, what is it that we're... What is it that we seem to be missing? We're... Is it just we can't leave, or... We haven't discovered where the chamber is that holds the artifact. Hmm. We thought this might be it. We even dispelled the ritual... That held the magic lock on the on the area. You thought Yet it was it. None of us said otherwise, arm. Darkling. Now, Embryus, I know you're getting crouchy, but don't take it out on someone else. We're as lost as they are. Mm. Hold on, let. And Vivius visibly good. like pulls Embryus back because he can. Uh, she can tell. He, what was it that they can um, tell that the Embryus is being what was the, snappy? What was what was the advice that Moore Duncan received? Someplace, uh, someplace we had already been before, I believe was part of it. And what do we see in this chamber we are in? Within this hall, you see lights and an archway leading out into the marsh, along with little motes of light uh, in the mist around the door of the archways. Well, the clue that we were acting on is we were looking for the Chamber of Whispers, or Discordant Whispers, and it seemed likely that the, these two rooms were those chambers, which means we thought that the artifact could be found here. We dispelled the magic that created the Discordant Whispers, but we have not located the artifact. So either we're in the wrong room, or we're in the right room and we're not looking in the right place. Right? Possibly, however... I wonder, these lights that I see around, 
seem to um these seem to be reminiscent of stars are we standing in an observatory of little motes of light yeah hang on is <laughs> i get it what lucius is asking is are the little motes of light floating in the air actually like a holographic display of the like instead of looking for an observatory with a big dome top and a projection what we're looking at is like projected into the air around us and we're just not noticing it because we're not seeing it for what it is is that what you're saying lucius hmm indeed i've had a most recent encounter with uh a particularly singular uh celestial projection mechanism uh this is somewhat reminiscent of it now that i think about it yeah does this seem at all familiar to that um that constellation room found back in the the snake dungeon it has it looks similar too yeah safe as a constellation room in the snake dungeon Indeed. Well, if you followed after us, you wouldn't have seen it because it ceased to be a constellation puzzle once we saw it. And we kind of wrecked ah. it. Does that make sense? Okay, so you, we you, are looking... You, you, ha you had to be there. Did Seven just say she wrecked it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Indeed, um, Lucius is going to start looking at patterns of light, anything reminiscent of constellation, particular alignments. Insight's part of it. Uh, insight, insight. Since he's pointed it out, I'll try to help him. You certainly can, yeah. And I will also do double insight. Uh, I will wait for, I will wait for assists. Just so you know, I, I do have detents for insights. Do you want I'll, me to lead, or should you lead? Uh, I also have defense for instance. Okay, you go ahead and lead, that's fine. I just wanted to give you the option. Mm -hmm. Um, I got an 11, so I help by plus one. In the wrong part of the book? Nope, if I was in the right one, there we go. I'll try to assist as well. He's two. <laughs> Oh. oh god. Oh, Sorry. Let's see if I can help. Oh no. Oh, don't worry. Thankfully it was an assist that critically failed, so I'm not gonna pick yeah. on you for that. <laughs> and we're not and we're not in the explosion. Hey, That's one one. More. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Cry? I'm gonna spend I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my last fabulous. Uh, I am go jeez. I am going to uh, I'm gonna burn it towards the bond of mistrust I have with Aether. Aether doesn't think I can do this. I'm gonna... And you're gonna prove me wrong. wrong. Very good. I'm, wait, wait, wait. I, I shouldn't steal that. Uh, bonds don't let you get rerolls. They add plus two to the roll. Oh. That's still good, though. Plus two's still uh, good. You yeah, could do. Cause that, yeah, because that ends up making it a ten, and then oh. an eleven from Eckhard. Aether gave a plus one as well. Uh, I, I already included that. Oh, plus. okay. I just didn't include the one from Alexander, because rolled it after um fair enough so, so your total is 11 11 you look upon these stars who twinkle and dance and in fact um it looks like uh, there, the uh, the moats like these are there are like three archways here, mm -hmm. so you know like there's a there's a narrow one and two wider ones here, uh, mm -hmm. but you notice that they're all funneling through this one through this central one. These ones look like stars of a certain. These ones, uh, sorry, these ones look like stars currently out in the night. This half looks like stars of a different time, um, and. It's almost as if, looking upon this, 
that they're supposed that this as you're examining this it doesn't look like these are these are the ways one enters and leaves there's something supposed to go here that's meant to bring this into bring these things into focus um, I think I when you do you point that out to everyone when you see it you, like like Lucius just sort of approaches the arch and he just sort of says it's supposed to go here uh a focus of some kind. I'll raise an arm. I bet it's one of the mirrors. If not one of the mirrors, then something down in the dungeon. Did we ever see any kind of loose lens? Um, what about the pendant? Yeah, yeah I'm, question. How I was going to go talking about? to Alexander and say, what about the pendant? Right. You try holding your pendant up in the middle of that doorway and see if it focuses light through it. Best to try. And I will. I'll, I'll do so. Hold it up to the light and see the numeral five appear. Huh. I should say like the Roman numeral, like like the V. Right. But you would yeah. know that as five, even in the older tongues. Well, that definitely means something. V for victory. <laughs> Beef of Vendetta. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> it's a peace sign. <laughs> it's, a, it's an old number. Five. And then there were uh, five Seven mirrors. Five years, right? And five of us reflected in them. We did find five mirrors down there, right? Okay, so if he knows the number five is important. Maybe we're supposed to bring the mirrors up here and put them around the room? Uh, were there five mirrors? Yep. Pretty sure, yeah. Hmm. On the other hand, uh, your, 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 your amulet here, your little amethyst, definitely focused this. So maybe, you know, this is the only clue to be found here. I don't know. I'd like to step out into the marsh and examine the lights here more closely and try looking from the marsh into the room to see if something new can be gleaned from looking at it at a different angle. Like looking through the focusing thing that he's holding up and everything. You, you get the similar sense that Alexander, uh, sorry, that uh, Lucius did, uh, that the, these star, these are definitely two very different star fields that are trying to focus into, somehow focus together through this. Like there's supposed to be, there's supposed to be one image of some kind, but it's not really, it. it's, there's that, that, there's a piece missing that's preventing this from coming into proper focus. But when you check it with the angle, it's like, it becomes immediately obvious to you. And it wasn't obvious when you first came here. Like, because of the ritual that was in effect before, you couldn't... Right. It was just confusing you. But now it that you're standing out here, it's plain as day or as night to you. <laughs> well, looking, oh. at the, looking at the central portal, what does it look like might fit there? Oh, Is it round? Oh. Is it square? Oh. Is it rectangular? Oh. What are we talking about? Uh, seven. Uh, yeah. How about your torch? Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's... You should hold it up. Okay. Where you want to put it? Right here in the center. Uh huh. He like motions into the middle of the um the archway. That's, That's sort of like the focal point. What's being put there? The torch. torch. The torch. That, like ever that like ever burning torch we found. As you hold the torch up, um, into that space, you notice it. It gets way dimmer. Um, from all sides, um, and it seems to match the same level of luminosity as all these little motes of light. Like it's its own little uh, light, as if it's in a, it, as if it's cloaked in darkness or shaded somewhere far away. But the minute you move it out of it again, like you move it at all out of that spot, it goes back to its normal light. Uh, but when yeah. you put it back in, it's it's at that that smothered light. Got it. Was Nothing weird happened. Okay. 
question. Was there anything within the dungeon or one of the mirrors, perhaps? Like, I recall you saying the mirrors were all more or less rectangular, but just in case, I'm going to go ahead and ask you. Was there anything that I recall within the dungeon of the appropriate size and shape that looks like it would fit in that doorway? Um, it wouldn't appear to be, no. They were they were all very, very rectangular. Right. Okay. Worth asking, though. That's definitely worth asking. Fair enough. I was wondering what you were asking about the shape for a bit. I was like, huh? I'm like, oh, that's what you're thinking. Okay, I got gotcha. you. No. <laughs> I mean, whatever we're looking for that will focus this and give us our answer has to be around here somewhere, hopefully. And we don't see anything in this room that, that looks like it would do the job. You see... Alexander's pretty close. Alexander, just go fill the doorway for you. <laughs> Wear the pendant. Like, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm saying stand in the doorway while wearing the pendant and fill the doorway. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll do that. Might as well. Worth a try. Sure. Face both in and out. Maybe the light needs to be go a certain direction. Like, try it both ways. He's pretty big. Willpower is part of a Deckard. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Okay. I want to help him by, like, arranging and moving him around to try and get him to fit right. Sure. Okay. Yeah, is that also uh, still part willpower? Oh, yeah. Willpower is part okay. of it. Not, we'll, we'll do insight willpower. I'm assuming this is something magic related, so we're going to we're gonna do my casty roll. I will try to help. Oh, hang on, uh, hang on, hang on. Wait, yep. wait, 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 wait. Before hang you on, do that, hang on, hang on. Before you do that, I'm going to do something. Okay. He stabbed okay. you with a spear. Cause, uh, cause this is something I can this is something I can now do outside of combat. Um I am going to encourage you. Um I spend ten mind points. Um and your willpower die goes up by one size. Oh very nice, thank you. You also you also recover twenty hit points, but I don't think that Max that currently. Currently. Yeah, currently, that's not a factor. Currently, not a factor. But your your willpower die jumps up by one. Cool. Um, so that's a D8 and a D10. All right. Any advantages, Corby? I'll give you plus one because you do have the pendant. Great. Okay. I would like to use so. my bond towards Alexander of admiration for him to claim a plus two by spending a fabulous point. You certainly can do that. do that. You can do that. All right, take a fabula point from me. That's fine. And uh, my 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 eight becomes a ten. And because I rolled two fours, does that make a success? That's also a critical or just a regular success? You're you're just assisting, yeah. Okay, just so in other words, they can't get a critical on an assist. No. Fair enough. No. But it is a successful assist now. You get a yeah. plus one. Okay. The plus and right. the plus side, the other side of that that's plus is that if you if you fumble, it's it doesn't do anything because normally it's supposed to do yeah. something bad to you if you fumble. But if an assist fumbles, I'm like, nah, you're just assisting. <laughs> Pushing the button. D8, D10. Oh. Two, three is eight, uh, plus nine. One. Nine, ten. ten with. One, two, three, eight. Yeah, you get ten. Uh, so you get something because you know ten's not anything above seven. Or, seven is the minimum you want to hit. If you don't get, if you get less than seven, you're not getting nothing. <laughs> ah, um, okay. So as long as you get it at seven or more, you're getting something. But more is better. But you did get uh, a decent number. Um, as you step in, um, you notice a ultraviolet hue around Zevin Demeril. Around what? Around seven. seven. Eh? None of you huh. see it. it. Only uh, Alexander does. And Ethan, you kind of help him like adjust and move. And as you're moved around, you see the light kind of fade and get stronger. Like it, like if you're in the perfect spot facing her, it's wall. It's an obvious halo around her. Uh, but the minute you turn to not face her, it dims. So it's just it's barely visible. Seven. Did you pick up anything from the dungeon? What? No. Just you. <laughs> I say just you. Like literally, Seven. just you. <laughs> Didn't steal anything th this time. Okay. Did you 
honorably claim any single. <laughs> Um, Amrinius will chuckle at that, and Bibius looks at him surprised that he has a sense of humor. Well, we did claim some stuff that we plan to sell later. It's nothing important, right? We took some junk. Yeah, some okay. Junk. But are you holding any of that on you? And she'll set down her pack and she'll start emptying out random stuff she's collected. For two inventory points, something relevant will come out of your bag. I'll spend that, sure. So there's a lot of stuff that you know you have, you know, your favorite pillow, your favorite blanket, tools. your tools, potions. Every adventure needs potions. Um, favorite flask of acid. Yeah. Oh, God. Why was that in there? That should be in the other bag. Oh, well, I'll just deal with that later. Dig, dig, dig. And then you see... It's her favorite. That's why. A... You see... Um... Do you wear any gloves or bracers of any kind? in your work yeah if you're working with tools you need gloves at some point so you don't crush your fingers you see you see work gloves and they look incredibly worn uh, and weathered and there's a moment where you think maybe you got it from somebody somewhere somewhere um, and just forgot you had it in your bag this whole time but no no you have a very particular kind of glove that you like that fits well, does all the things you like to do, and certain gloves are good for trains rather than other stuff, like airships. Um, these are your gloves. But they look far more worn and bereft of sun. Hmm. Did anyone... Right. All right, who, who touched my gear? Not me. Vibius, that's... No. You, you, you did, right? I didn't! You... I have to be honest now. I am. <laughs> these, these uh, are these are my gloves, but they look old. They've been in there a while. They haven't. Lean in with my ears sort of falling forward over my face and say, "Try them on. Maybe, maybe they're what we came for." Mm, the real treasure with us with us the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Seems unlikely. I'll, but I'll put, she'll put them on. Insights part that of it. Sound, that sounds oh, absolutely. Boy. That sounds absolutely ridiculous. Well, remember that bit about. Uh... Next time you'll tell me that the real power were the friends we made along the way, and that gun that Seven built. <laughs> Never know, no need one. Okay, what's in the gloves? Insights part of it. What's in the gloves? As you start putting them on, you start thinking it about what... Is. It'll have a beloved NPC's head inside. Dear God. <laughs> yep. Wait, in the yep. gloves? How small I would say head? that's a little dark for a JRPG, and then I thought, nah, there's some pretty dark no, JRPGs really out there. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm looking at you, Baroque. Oh, look at that roll. Good girl. Uh, friggin'. Um, well, hell, um... You remember this glove because you remember how much it hurt and how much you were scared. Uh, that's the glove of your mirror image. That's her glove. You must have pulled it with you. When you drew your hands back, you must have pulled the glove off. And then when you saw it hit the ground, you absentmindedly went, well, free glove. And you tossed it in. It's only now that when you're putting it on, like, oh, right. I, I did that without thinking because you're used to grabbing what scrap you can. Because who knows when you need extra leather. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's, it's my glove, but it, it it's not my glove. Uh, that makes no sense. I quizzically look Seven, at you like, huh? Seven, you, you are making no sense. Like, it's... less sense than normal. Hey! <laughs> I believe what she means is that uh, hey. it is a glove from her reflection. I, I think I pulled oh, it well, off. Why didn't you? Why didn't you just say that? <laughs> Is a two ascendants look and shrug apologetically, but say nothing aloud. That's a little shit. I'm just gonna like. She gives him a in. very dirty look. Like like he doesn't do this all the time. I'm gonna lean in and sniff it, and I'm gonna look up at seven and say, "Free extra dimensional leather could be useful." 
Yeah. Maybe you can make something exciting out of it. Or oh. or per, or perhaps it's the focus that we're looking for. Yeah, ha hang on. Uh, Corby. Right. I, I would like to do a roll on uh, and any myths about, like, gloves. Sure. Insight's part of it. All right. Perhaps by wearing that glove, perhaps you could... Oh, I don't know. It's magic mumbo-jumbo, so perhaps I'm speaking out of nowhere, but perhaps while wearing that glove could manipulate the central focus point. Hmm. 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 Like or maybe another Alexander one of... needs to wear it while he's also wearing the amulet. I don't think her gloves are going to fit him. Huh? You're both His elves. His pants are about twice her size. <laughs> Being Seven's un un unfortunately sh short. Uh, I, I, sand I elf problems. The points of right. the amulet was to point the towards the glove, not necessarily be combined with it. Um, okay, we will do. You said inside part, inside's part of it? Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Inside, inside. Pretty please, the chair top. Uh, any modifiers? No. Okay, cool. Love that. Oh, all right. Um, gloves from spiritual Mirror, realms in aether places uh, usually are a sort of anchor point um, or key to pass through uh, these passageways. Um. It not it's so it's not gloves in particular, but items in general from the Aether world uh, allow one to step through uh, to distant, countless planes, countless realms, I should say. Oh, okay. Uh you got fourteen as well. Is there anything more I can tell you? I can. Um. And you know that the item, some such items when found have no relevant, don't necessarily tell you what the anchor is to, only, only the where the anchor was found or taken from gives a clue to what it is. So you can find a thimble, a nail, a dagger, a pen, whatever. But the relevance is where it was found, who you got it from, and that will tell you where you were likely to go if you use it. Watch your check. Thank you. Okay. That was me. I have a habit of leaning too much. Bad for your back. Yeah. Well, I mean, that... I saw it and I thought I need a posture check myself. So I <laughs> yeah. Uh, Seven is, is, is just while everyone's investigating it, she just put it on, taking it off, and muttering it, to herself. Hi. I will say it perfectly fits, and you can feel it, it like it's perfectly worn. It does feel like it's been doing work that you're not used to. Like it has, it probably has a touch train controls in countless years. So it's been doing something it wasn't really meant to do. Hmm. Yeah, you know, uh, the one in the mirror, she was she was scared. Like, like, like terrified, scared. Even when she was hurting me. What do you think she was afraid of, Seven? Scared of what? I don't know. She, she didn't tell me what exactly. Okay. It, the look that's isn't ain't on my face all that often. <laughs> Did you share with the class what you understood about the uh, astral or items being used to step into astral planes? Yes, yes, I did. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to make sure before I acted on that. Um, um, no, yeah, go ahead. Aether will say, perhaps the key then is that we can use this glove to step into 
the astral realm's version of this room because perhaps that is where the artifact is stored mm. out of the reach of ordinary mortals completely only heroes could ever go there to get it I'll correct you, Aether rather than Astral. Astral is something else. Aether plane, uh, right. But in any event, like yes. an alternate yeah. planar version of this room would be the perfect place to store the artifact that we're searching for. And it would fulfill the requirement of us being within the Whispering Room, right? All right, I'm going to put on the glove and I'm going to kind of trace my hand around around the walls. Because I can't reach into the other place. But maybe maybe this glove can. Hum, 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 hum. One moment, please. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Um... I'm going to come back over here to Alexander and try to keep him focused on where he can watch her so that he can see if anything goes wrong or if she disappears, he'll still be able to you see her, You may attempt a roll, cost some MP. Um, oh, that's all I'll do. And that's what you're doing. So, uh, at a minus two, mm -hmm. you may attempt Insight willpower to feel for the the where this the way passed. Um, you are gonna need to spend at least um, a certain amount of MP. Sorry, I had it and I lost it the minute I said it. I was thinking yes. about it. Uh, you'll need to spend at least thirty ma uh, mind points. Difficulty level of 10. And you're atomized too because you yourself aren't an entropist, but the glove is allowing you to do... You're kind of doing a, a type of entropist ritual, but you're not trained in how to do it. So you're kind of fumbling at it, trying to figure out if you can... Figuring out how the glove works. Okay, so that drains most of my MP. Alternately... No, go ahead. Yeah. I was just saying, alternately, mm -hmm. while you're thinking about doing this, could you consider maybe giving the actual entropist that we have here with us the glove and letting them do it. He won't be able to wear this glove. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem. It's made for a very small person. Understood. Uh, Alexander can assist once you, when, if you, because you'll notice her doing things that look entropy alike. And you're like, oh, wait a minute. I know what she's trying to do. <laughs> like, no, I just no, no, can't. No, 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 no. Make, right. Makes this hat signal, not not the other ones. The other one will disintegrate this room. <laughs> oh, oh, I that's like with the negative two applied, though. Yeah. Well, you've you've got some fabula. You can be yeah. it. Yes, I will. In fact, to I'd like to trait? spend a fabula point uh, to my identity. I, I've been in tough times before, and sometimes there's nothing you can do but but grit your teeth and try again until your fingers <laughs> bleed. You know, honestly, make sure you just re-roll the d10. You rolled pretty good on your d6. Agreed. Yeah. And I did give you an assist. Yeah, just re-roll that d10. Oh, there you go. 9 <laughs> plus 5, 14, 14. 14 plus 1, 15, minus 2 is still 14. The target number was, I believe, 10. It was. And you said, I think. Yep. I, yeah, that's what I just said. Um, but um, you yeah. feel and feel and feel. Um, and you remember as you're feeling it out. Um, and you, it's like you're reaching out uh, through the death of the world, uh, through the great expanse of time upon which this wall will no longer be and the sea of souls will drift off into nothingness there is a time and a place far beyond in between in that aether space but this is not the way and as you push you can almost you can't see it because you're not an entropist but you can feel it you can feel um something that you're lacking something you're supposed to be touching 
and you remember that in that moment that when she reached out to you, she reached out with her gloved hands through the glass. Oh. And you know for certain that that is where this glove will lead you through. I see. To the maze? To the maze, then? I get it. We're supposed to go into the mirrors. That's the one place we didn't check. The one place we couldn't check. Well, now. now we know to. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Good job. Good job, everybody. We figured that shit out. I I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, I think that whatever she was scared of, it's beyond this point. You know, this is the and you don't have to be you know. <clears throat> you're saying the real danger starts now yeah I'll note that when you go down this pathway normally there'd be a travel test to go down this uh, there is none you hear no whispers you no critters creep up through the dark yay I, I... yay yay did we go to the mirror that we took off the wall first try it I was going to say the one that Alexander came out of. Okay, that sounds good. Like, I'm easy. Whichever you think is most appropriate. I'm just afraid That's that'll take us back where he came from. <laughs> no, the, the destination is tied to the, the key object. So if you will go off as the club is going to take us, no matter which meal we can use. Right? Did I understand that correctly? Yeah. Perhaps. <laughs> All right. Great. Well, only one, way, only one way to find out. Yep. Yeah, there's an old Oscar insane. I never really believed it, but you know, in the, in the open in the eyes and the outstretching of the hand, to take the knowledge of the world. <laughs> I'm kind of living it right now, aren't I? Aren't we all? I'm going to lean forward and give you a gentle squeeze on the shoulder, Seven, and say, I believe in you. Let's do this. I have a good feeling about this. Let's go. Okay. You reach out your hand to the glass. You begin to approach it. You may... Insight's part of a problem that may be coming from that mirror. <clears throat> I'm going to say insight and might. That's fair. I'm right there. Can I help? Certainly. You'll probably see it. Do I have to use the same yeah. stats or? Uh, insight has to be part of it, but you can choose the other harder. Okay. I'll do double insight. I really like the idea of us choosing, me choosing one, you guys choosing the other. I, li I, I like that, that option a little lot. It's cool. Because otherwise, yeah. normally I'd be dictating both. And you'd have to convince mm -hmm. me for both of them. Like, no, no, no. I choose one I think makes sense. You choose one that makes sense to you. All right. You get a plus one from me. She's going to need help. All right. Anybody else helping? I will also help with Insight and Might. Uh, I'll try to help with Insight uh, Willpower. Very good. Well, you got another uh, plus one from me. I, I, I will, with that willpower myself. Plus three so far. Uh, three, yeah. Eleven so far. Once it's not an open roll, it's just it's an actual. Well, no, that's not true. The ritual rolls have a definite target number. Come on. Oh, uh, uh, nope. Ah, uh, just one shy. It's okay. You still put us on the right path earlier, so that's good. You start reaching out and enough getting us here. Some of you notice it along with Zevin, and some of you probably point it out. Um, in no, well, if nothing else, you see the difference in the mirror images. Um, Zevin's mirror image is mirroring, mirroring her. It's doing exactly what she's doing. 
However, Eckhart in that same picture has his sword drawn and getting ready to swing, uh, like almost like he's gonna throw through the crowd at Zevin. You still touch the mirror. Point of no return. Everyone ready? Yeah, I'm ready to defend you. Yeah. Yep. Everybody, my mark. Okay. Uh, he just readies his spear and shield. And I'm going to reach through. You touch the glass. As you touch the glass, the reflection throws his sword. Uh... Alexander, what's I your might? <laughs> Alexander? Uh, my my might? Yeah, your might. Yeah. My might is I'm pretty sure it's a D ten. No, Hang no. on. Yeah, worth, worth checking. Yeah, it yeah, it's a D ten. Okay. Does eleven hit you, Seven? I believe it does. Can I move to intercept and basically take yeah. the hit for her? Yeah, I was gonna say I can take the hit. <laughs> I literally was planning to like take the hit for her. Uh, you can attempt might as part of it. Okay. The target number is what I rolled. You have to roll at least 11 or higher. Otherwise, you can't get in the way in time. Okay. I will say uh, one of you can lead and the others can assist. You only get one shot to save seven from being smacked. My... It might has to be one of them? Might has to be one of then them. I... Yeah, I'm going to let you lead, Alexander. <laughs> yeah, my, 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 might's my thing. Let me... Fair okay. enough. Go ahead. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So In that case, I'll, I'll just help. Them. I'm going to do... Might I don't even know if I really can help, then, to be honest. I don't think it works that way. I'll let you help. Like I said, it, it can be a group roll, because you might all... Yeah. More, more than one of you might pull seven out of the way before the sword smacks her. All right. Are there any modifiers? No. Okay. Well, we're going to hit the button. I'm going to hey, hit the Hey, look at that. What? Wild! We both give plus ones. And I gave a plus one as well. So we succeed. Yep. Uh, yeah, you're able to kind of... Holy cow. All of you kind of call out and notice the danger, and then <clears throat> Zevin, uh, the sword, the minute your hand comes away from the glass, pink, it plinks off the mirror. Ah! <sighs> ah! <sighs> I was about to ask what the damage on your sword was, Alexander, but it's not relevant now. <clears throat> um, well, it I almost took my hand off. Plus 14. That is the damage of the sword. <laughs> oh, the, uh, I want to take my hand off. Yeah, when they pulled you away to save you, your hand got pulled off the mirror. That's why the sword plinged off the glass. Maybe we should go to a different mirror. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like if we're seeking to go through, maybe we should go through one that's, you know, less. Why deadly. don't we? Or perhaps we should go through Seven's mirror. Hmm. He's the one with the glove, right? Right. Okay. Guess we had a hike on over there. Seven, you see your reflection, although you notice that your reflection is missing a glove. And she's standing there, not mirroring you. Well, I was wondering where you were. I think I'm ready. <laughs> I think I'm ready. She steps, your reflection steps away from the mirror, like letting you step through. I like to put my hand on Seven's shoulder so when she goes through, I can go through with her. Fortunately, you do 20 dark damage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put my head on the other shoulder. Well, 19, 20 in case light something damage. goes wrong, I need to be in the way. It's a very crowded hallway. <laughs> we all have hands on you. <laughs> Sailor Moontown, let's go. 
Well, we don't want to leave anyone behind, that's for sure. Yeah. Do you step forward? Yeah. Seven reaches towards the mirror, palm up. Seven steps through. Ether, do you follow? Yes, yes. Alexander Eckhart, Absolutely. do you follow? Yep, I do. As do I. Or do you follow? Yes. And through the Aether portal they step, out from the labyrinth. And where they will find themselves shall indeed be the Chamber of Discordant Whispers, which holds the Enigma's embrace. There too shall they see and face Whispering Enigma. Who turned out the lights? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that is it. That is all for now. Oh boy, that labyrinth. Uh, I'm glad you guys got the gloves. Uh, it was entirely possible. The amethyst thing, I was scared you weren't going to find it. Um, so hooray. Um, hey. And you found your way fun. through the mirror. Uh, and you will be in the final place of this dungeon and ruin. Oh boy. And how, was our, uh, how was our line of thought and questioning? Fairly insightful yeah. and useless. Uh... Some of it was along the same lines I was thinking, and some of it was some of the things I decided on was not why I intended. So one of the things in Fabula Ultima, uh, and I was uh, is that when progressing through dungeons or just trying to solve puzzles, um, you can there's the way that you the DM know is the easy way to do it, but also you incur you should allow room for other ways to solve the problem. So I kind of like did, I did both of the other. So you got, so you didn't do the exact, I kind of, you kind of had all the clues you needed in the labyrinth to get through that mirror, but I couldn't guide you back there until, but you guys actually won. You did a cool ritual where you cleared out that, uh, the cursed door. I'm like, oh, that's, huh. I didn't think you could, I never thought of someone uncursing the door. That's probably not a bad thing to do. And we'll figure out about, we'll learn what the, this is the astral observatory. And I was giving clues to point you in the right way. As long as it was in the same direction I was looking, but it's like, so you got to where I was going, but not the way I thought you were going to get there, is how I'll put it. Like, I thought you had all the stuff you needed. I'm like, oh no, oh no, they're getting further away. Oh no, <laughs> please oh, don't God. leave the Wrong dungeon. <laughs> uh, so it was just like me uh, succeeding at my math test with wrong method, right answer. <laughs> Yep. But you know, you that that's the, the thing though. You but got the right answer somehow. <laughs> but if you have like neat ideas like successfully. Ain't that the way. But like stuff like putting up using the pendant to look through it, looking through your inventory for cool stuff, checking for hidden doors. I was like, okay, I see where you're going. I'm gonna try to see if I can point a clue. Cause I didn't want to just give way just because you happen to you guys happen to point in a certain direction. I was like, no, no, no. That this is the puzzle. The puzzle through the labyrinth is to find the way out. It's like right. so I'll give you clues if it's a way I can give clues. Like, for example, telling you for certain, there's no way up. It's like, no, no, I don't want you to go up. Up is the wrong direction. <laughs> so I'll make sure you know for certain there's no up. It's like, okay, good. And you got opportunity off it. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> Side effect, you knocked down the darn clock, which I wasn't, I didn't think anyone was going to do. <laughs> so. For one, well, I, had a really good I bet that is the protagonist's skills have come invaluable. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. We need more screws. That was a lot of fun. I had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, to all of you good. watching yeah. out there, thank you very much for watching. For those of you playing, thank you very much for playing. And we'll see you all next time. And I'll add on, if those are watch uh, those of you watching the VODs after the fact, if you notice there's a couple episodes missing, that's because some of them weren't posted. Um, so I get up when I can. Uh, that should be more the case than usual from now on. Uh, I see. I found out what's been going wrong. You should be oh. seeing more Fabio Ultimate uh, episodes from here on out. And, but I use a story method. I, that's what that early poetry thing from the beginning was. Was like, oh, you guys, I'll play into it and say, oh, you forget. If you don't remember, you don't remember. Spooky place, you know. So, oh. But I can only do that so much before it's like, well, yeah, now the story is unfollowable. So. <laughs> our, our, our heroes have permanent amnesia. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Anyway. Keep good notes, players. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. That was, that was a lot great. of fun. We had a good time.
I enjoyed that. Mm. Yep, that was good. Yes. And oh, I was so well, I, 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 the rituals were kind of expensive. I was like, well, I mean, you're doing a ritual. That's what they're for. They're for doing stuff like this. I have an opportunity to use my new spell, though. 